A good email design is the literal difference between 100 recurring customers and none. And once you know how to design your emails engagingly and make it impossible for your email list to not make a purchase, you will never have to worry about a sale again. My email marketing agency has created over 4,000 email designs in the past five years. And today I'm going to reveal how to create high converting emails using Figma so that your customers won't be able to resist making purchase after reading your emails. But first, what makes a high converting email. Nowadays, customers are used to short form content. They're used to watching TikTok videos, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, etc. So you want to make your emails as easy to digest. They are more likely to read an email with a few words compared to an email with long paragraphs of text. This is because your emails are probably not the only ones landing in their inbox. So you want to keep your email design simple and have a clear message and call to action. So this is Figma. We just got a blank page in here and I'll show you how to create an email from scratch. Scratch. So over here in the bottom, you see the toolbar with all the different functions that you can use inside Figma. And first of all, what we want to do is create what we call a frame. And inside this frame, we're going to build a demo email. So let's call this frame demo email. And the first thing that I like to do is adjust the width. We like to work always with a width of 1200 pixels. And then the length of the email obviously depends on what kind of email we're going to make. So the first thing that we want to create is, of course, a logo. So what we can do, since this is going to be a demo account, just gonna create a text block with logo because obviously in here you're gonna drop in your logo and then we're gonna hit group selection and we're gonna apply auto layout so as you can see then it wraps around the text like that and then we're gonna add a fill and make it clear that this is gonna be the logo and then with these buttons we can like adjust the horizontal padding and the vertical padding so let's add some padding in here next up the most important thing of your email is your headline because it needs to grab the attention of the audience so it's immediately clear what they can expect from your email so we're going to add another text block and this is going to be your headline and of course each brand has their own branding so you want to adjust the fonts and the colors based on your branding let's say your font is Montserrat if you go to the right side of here at typography you can select your font so you can select all kinds of google fonts and you can also load in your own fonts if that's necessary but in this case let's just go with Montserrat and our main headline is in let's call it black so this is our general headline so what we can do is save this as a text style so every time we want to make a headline it's going to be in this font so what we can do if you go to typography you can apply styles hit the plus button and call this h1 for example and hit create style there you go so this needs to be a tension grabbing headline and let's make it a bit bigger let's make this 80 and oftentimes in our emails we also use a sub headline so we hit the option button on Mac so we can duplicate it. But now we're going to hit this button, detach style. And because our sub headline is going to be a different font, instead of Montserrat Black, we're going to make this Montserrat Light. And this is going to be our sub headline. And adjust it like that. And then if this is like our main sub headline font, we can of course make a text style for this one as well and call this sub headline. So we can like reuse this all the time. And what we also like to do is include some body copy in their header already to again make it as clear as possible what people can expect from this email this is what we call the above the fold section so the first thing that people see when they open your emails has to include your logo a brand image headline and a call to action button so that's what we're creating right now so let's get, create a small part of body text body copy max to sentences and then obviously we need to make this a bit different so this is going to be like 40 and the font is going to be Montserrat regular so this is our body copy and let's make a text style for this one as well body copy create style and then the last thing that we need is a call to action button so i'm going to be lazy i'm going to use this logo section as a base so we're going to hit option drag it in here and this is going to be our call to action button let's call it the typical shop now but obviously we want to make this a bit bigger so we're going to add padding in here call to action button always needs to be as big as possible the bigger the call to action button the higher your click rate will be and obviously there are some boundaries you don't want to make like enormous but you do want to make it as big as possible so people
people can find it as easy as possible and click on it then we're going to adjust the style a little bit so let's make this red and then the text is going to be in white like that so then we have a call to action button there you go and then obviously we also want to like include some sort of image which you will put down here or you'll put it on the background those are obviously like design elements that you can add in later but this would already be like a good structure for your above the fold section and what you can do right now is group selection and then apply the auto layout like that so now we have our above the fold section so we have our logo an attention grabbing headline a sub headline a little bit of body copy and a call to action button and this is already a solid base for an email and obviously down here you'll fill up the rest of your email with for example some more body copy so we'll hit option and this will be a bit more body copy so let's make it like this and then we're going to make some product blocks in here in a zigzag structure a zigzag structure is always a good structure to use because people can follow it easily because it follows the natural movement of their eyes so we're going to take our headline command or option duplicate it and it's going to be product one the font is obviously a bit too big so we're going to detach the style from the h1 and make this let's make it 60 and then we'll use some body copy let's take this one here and a call to action button let's reuse this one then we want to make this one a bit smaller and also the text a bit smaller align it to the left side some product info and then in here we want to have like a nice image of the product so what we're going to do is build a new frame for where we want to have the image in so like that and then we're going to take like a random image first of all we're going to resize this and then we're going to put it inside a product block frame that we just made so then we're going to resize it so it fits our frame that we made and then we have a product block and then you can basically like duplicate this and make it like the other way around and you can have like three product blocks so these are just the basics of how you can create like a high converting email inside figma and there are of course a lot of possibilities of how you can like design emails you have a lot of different sections that you can build out like header sections a product sections review sections body copy sections and what we use internally for our agency is a file like this where we like build out like different ways of how you can build certain sections of your email so for example these are all different ways of how you can design your header section so for example a logo interesting title body copy call to action button with an image or logo with an image around it with a headline body copy call to action button so there are different ways of how you can build your above the fall section as you can see and if you like build out the standard blocks that makes it way easier for when you have to design a new email to take like different bases different templates and like fill it in with your branding and your images so i would highly encourage you to build out such a thing for your own brand as well and you might think hey this looks nice but how would it look with images inside it well then it would look something like this these are all demos that we made and these are all just above the fold sections so just header sections so as you can see there are a lot of different ways that you can like design your header section and of course you can do this with every section of your email so for example if you have like review blocks there are different ways that you can make your review blocks so you can do it like this with a background with the headline of the review on the left side and the rest of the review on the right side with images with just some basic quotes without a block around it so a lot of different ways that you can like build out review sections as you can see in here all depending on the specific email that you're building or the style that you prefer same goes for your product blocks so this is like the zigzag structure that we're just making with the product name quick description shop now button and image on the other side you can also do it without a description of course you can put two items on one row you can have everything centered again two items on one row but without a description so a lot of different ways of course that you can build out your your product blocks and you can be really creative with this and same goes for your body copy section so it can be as simple as just a sub headline some body copy and a call to action button or even without a headline there are a lot of possibilities and as i said in the beginning you want to make sure that your emails are easy to digest so you want to use as little text as possible and if you use a lot of text you do want to make sure that's like easy to digest so for example with those tips it breaks it down into different sections for everyone and one big tip you want to use things like graph comparison tables stuff like that and also things like this like graphs works really really well and even such a thing if you have a product which has certain benefits or features you can highlight it in such a way and the beauty is if you have built out all these different templates with all different kind of possibilities you can like easily mix and match your email depending on the specific subject that you want to discuss in such an email so for example if you like this header and then you want to like mix it with some product blocks let's use this one and then we put it underneath here and then and we want to end email with some review 
blues. Let's pick this one. And then obviously you would edit the branding so all the colors are like the same and it fits your brand. And then we want to end the email with some short body copy and a call to action button. And this way you now have a header section, some product blocks, some reviews, and the email with some short body copy and a call to action button. So this way you have like mix and match your own email base on all the templates that you have. The only thing that you now have to do is like adjust the fonts, adjust the colors and fill in like the specific text. And then you're ready to go within like 50 minutes, you have your email ready. So if this template file sounds interesting to you and if you want to use it for your own brand, leave a comment down below underneath this video and let me know if you're interested in receiving this Figma file. And that's how you design high converting emails inside Figma. Apart from design, another crucial part of email marketing is your email flows. Your email flows are the backbone of your email marketing system as they allow you to automatically nurture leads, engage customers and drive conversions for your business. Click here to learn how you can easily create your own high converting email flows. I'll see you in the next one.